Hello, my name is Carl Guardino. I'm president and CEO of the Silicon Valley Leadership Group. I'm also one of nine gubernatorial appointees on the California Transportation Commission. On June 5th, you and I, as taxpayers and voters, will be able to determine in the entire nine-county Bay Area whether we want to move forward with a measure called Regional Measure 3 that would collect over the next couple of decades an additional $4.45 billion for that regional layer of funding. Regional Measure 3 would generate those funds through hikes, increases in the bridge tolls for the seven state-owned bridges in the nine-county Bay Area. Through the work of the legislature and regional leaders, they selected 35 key improvements that usually cross county lines. Therefore, corridors like the Highway 101 corridor through Santa Clara, San Mateo, and San Francisco counties, like the 237 corridor, like the 680 and 880 corridors, or if you like the wine country, that stretch between Marin and Sonoma counties, where Highway 101 goes from three lanes to two lanes to three lanes again. And it's so bad that it is known as the Sonoma Narrows or Sonoma Hourglass, because that's how long it feels it takes to get through that stretch. Regional Measure 3, has again 35 improvements, all with value in their own right, but a lot of them, like a jigsaw puzzle, fit together like a puzzle piece that adds more value when you look at it in a whole. Regional Measure 3 also includes $150 million for bicycle and pedestrian improvements throughout the nine county Bay Area. It also includes $130 million towards the Dumbarton Crossing, which has become the Dumbarton parking lot linking Alameda County with San Mateo County. So what we want to express again is how important it is to engage in a democracy in these decisions. We have wonderful opportunities to control our own destiny as voters, taxpayers, residents, and workers here in the Nine County Bay Area to engage civically at all levels of government when it comes to the future of a robust economy and a healthy quality of life for each of us and our families and how that is impacted by the transportation decisions that we make. We'd love to share more information with you.